Hey y'all. Well, here's another video. I got a new book. So this will be my first book of 2021. And I have other books ordered in, in the mail, but they're coming from other countries. So they're going to take a little longer. And since this one was in the United States, it came pretty fast. And basically, uh, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm anxious to get into it and actually start coloring in it. So I wanted to show it to y'all first. Um, I have some other things coming too. I made a Blick order and I just got notified this morning that some of those things will be coming this Thursday. And then there's like, oh, six items, two kind of big ones, uh, in that order that's kind of back ordered one all the way into February so I'm like well I thought I was gonna do one big Blick haul video but it looks like it's gonna be broke up into two because once I get these things Thursday this week I'm not gonna be able to wait <laughs> so whatever so here's the new book I did go ahead and slice into the packaging get this going Now she's known, from what I understand, that she always provides color charts, which is cool. And here's the information on the artist. This is a Micah Jelena book. <clears throat> I bought it from Etsy. And I've wanted some of her work for a while. And this is my first book. To my knowledge, she has four books out, maybe five. And this one is ta -da, the Best of Line Art Volume 1. So this is kind of a sampler of her other books. However, in the other books, she does line art and grayscale. However, this is just all line art. But I thought, well, I've ordered a bunch of other books. I can't get a whole bunch of these books. So I may as well get this one since it's the sampler style. Few images from all of our other books. So I went with this. I love that it's spiral bound on the top. I'm a lefty, so that's nice. I love any spiral bound book, though. It has a plastic protector over the front cover, which is probably glaring you guys out. Ooh. So that's what the cover is. And then, okay, so here you get to see her. This tells a little bit about her. Fantasy artist, born in 1973 in North Carolina. So if you want to read that. She has signed it, which I also love. I'm starting to acquire more and more books that are actually artist signed, and I really love that. The paper is good paper. Um, cardstock. I wouldn't, compared to, say, Jane F. Hankins paper, it's definitely not as thick as that, but it's still good paper for sure. You get <clears throat> thumbnails of all the images we'll find, but we're just going to jump right into them so we don't need to see that. Flower Power. This is the girl that's on the cover. Super pretty. Dakota. She's got her some little wings going on. Calamity. Which is funny because one of my one of my grandma's nicknames was Calamity Jane. Um, I would guess for sure that this is going to be from her steampunk book that she has out with the insinuated metal wings and the gears goggles on her hat love that 
This is Sweet Tooth. You know, in all my coloring books and all the time I've been coloring, I do not think that I have yet to color any candy. Ring Pop. Cutesy Tattoos. Let's see if I can just keep it this way. Dream Catcher. I think she's real pretty. It is a bit heavier, thicker line art. Not too much, but definitely a little more so than other books I have. Which is fine. I do not mind that at all. Put some flames on our hat. Adorable. Cute fairy sitting in a moon. She's got some serious shoes going on. This is Paige. She names all of her girls. Layla. We have a corset, some more tattoos, piercing on her chin, another top hat. Solara. Love that. A little bit of itty bitty work going on up here with some beading and braided hair. Um, I will probably use some gel pens in that type of area, but otherwise, I'm a pencil girl and I'm going to stick to my pencils. But these are cute. I love them. This one's got some fangs going on, so I want to say maybe she's a vampire. Definitely from her steambook, steampunk book. We got the gears on the sides, goggles on the top hat. Her name is Temple. Love the fur trim on the coat. Good vibes. Peace, love, joy, happiness, all that good stuff. We all need that. Dreadlocks. I knew this image was going to be in here. This is one of the ones that I was really looking forward to and liked. Dreamer. I just love that she's got her paint palette and her paintbrush is going on. She's going to be fun. I just really need to improve my skin tone game. Um, I'm just not happy with with it at all. This is Jules and Vern. I'm going to guess that's Vern. Which I think this is cute. I love he's got his little I can't I know it's got a name and I can't now that I want to remember. I can't remember the name of the little one eye eyeglass thing. She's got her skeleton key hanging off her hat, which I love that. I love skeleton keys. Sort of collect them. Small collection right now, but Working on building it up. Bubbles, because you know, why not? Check it and make sure everything's still in frame. Sunshine, she's pretty. Look at them eyes. This was another image that I was really looking forward to. Again, we got some itty bitty beadwork happening. But I still will stick to my pencils with most of the rest of it. But I really love her. Rian. Coffee house. Must be open mic night. She's pretty. Phases of the moon, I think, is going on. I 
keep doing paper's thick enough that I have to I'm kind of checking it like that to make sure that I don't have two stuck together so again it is decent paper here another image I knew was going to be in here that I was looking forward to the first one she was um, the cover of her first book this is the cover of her second book inside of the fortune teller booth 25 cents another moon phase Lucia sorry if I don't remember to say their names on all of them love that hair spiral going down this is another one this is definitely a busy one, but I love it. We got the Gypsy Wagon, Crystal Ball Tarot Cards. I think she's got a dagger right here, maybe. We got our foliage going on, the birds. Remember Me is what that's called. Nice wedge, sandals. I used to have some shoes like that. And we got a side wavy one. This is Serena lounging around with her two cats. I forget the names of those cats, but I know that they don't have any fur. She's pretty. Cammy. I love the crystals here. And I love this over draped over her head. I'm gonna like getting on this one too. Another side wavy one. Azura. Again, the little tiny beadwork and this draped over her head. I really enjoy that. It appears to have some sheerness to it. And there's a hookah. I think this is the first picture I've ever had or seen that has a hookah in it. That's cool. Oh, another beautiful one. Again, I don't know why, but I really dig the draped over the head look thing. Awesome. Love that. Have T for three. They're cute. Nice close up. Again, makes me nervous a little bit just because I need to up my skin tone game but I'll get there that's the thing for all of us you know the more we do it the better we get we'll get there rock on love her super fun tattoos I love my music Do a lot of jamming out around our house. And we have a mermaid. Interesting. Lyra, the mermaid. And she's got tattoos. But she's pretty. Charmed. I love that there's like a little image, actual picture in the frame back here. Little button eyes on the puppet. The book says dreams. Looks like she must maybe sit here coloring. Super cute. Let me guess another steampunk picture. Angie and Connie. 
Those look delicious. Makes me kind of want a peanut butter shake. If y'all haven't had a peanut butter shake, oh man, you're missing out. I don't have much of a sweet tooth, but definitely one of my favorite sweet treats is a peanut butter shake. And every once in a while, add a banana into it. Oh man, best thing ever. Nice big close up with pigtails. Love all of her piercings on her ears. She's cute. Raven Wolf. Good, really nice fur opportunity here. Another thing I'm not too great about. Reminds me of some tribal tattoos on the side for borders. Pretty, pretty. Her staff, I like her staff a lot. Almost looks like a crystal on the bottom of her staff even. Wakanda. Beautiful large headdress going on there. That'll be fun to color. Willa. She's super cute. Got her incense burning. She's definitely got some thoughts going on and she's putting them down. I like her wings. They have a more feathery look. Zayana, another large headdress that's beautiful. Love her. There she is again. I think those are cheetahs. And I think this, to, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is called the Greek key design for a border. Beautiful picture. Love her dress. So drapey and flowy looking. Liking that. And I guess that is the last one. So again, let me just move that part. It is Micah Jelena. This was the best of her line art, volume one. There are other books and they have double images. I think the ones that are double images, you get like a more close up picture and then one that's zoomed out a little more and one or the other will be a line art and the other one will be a grayscale image. Um, I kind of wish this had the grayscale images in it with it, but it's okay that it doesn't. I'm fine with just a straight out line art also. So, until next time, give me a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Later, y'all.